The Perseverance Award is given to a youth who has prevailed over adversity or obstacles in their life. The nominee has overcome challenges and demonstrated inner strength and perseverance. After her mother was caught in a real estate scam, Delilah Brown's family became homeless when she was just 11 years old. Her mother worked hard to raise her and her siblings, but they ended up living at In From The Cold for three months. Even at her young age, she realized that she had no idea where she was going to sleep at night or what she was going to eat for her next meal. Delilah had to grow up fast. Moving a lot when she was young and changing schools often, Delilah struggled to set down roots. Throughout everything, her mother inspired her to stay positive and persevere. With my family when I was 11, we had a notice in the mail saying that we needed to move. And my mom uh, did all the right steps and the right moves as a mother and um, got us a new house lined up and everything, but it ended up being a scam. And so, you know, going from like a normal, everyday kid's life to being homeless was a huge deal. Having things like that happen at a young age, um, especially with your family, like it just like, you know, you're not... Um, focusing on acing the test in school or like, you know, hanging out with your friends at your house after school, you're thinking like, oh, am I going to have a place to sleep tonight? Oh, like, why am I being judged for having this label on me? So it was just like, that was definitely one of the biggest experiences in my life that definitely changed me. Something I've learned is that you're the only person who's going to get you where you want to be, like when it comes down to it. And so, I mean, staying true to yourself will help you like drive yourself to better places. After a family outing, Luke Colds became seriously ill. At the time, doctors were unable to clearly diagnose what was happening to Luke. He and his family searched for answers, traveling as far as Boston Children's Hospital for treatment. It was eventually suspected that food poisoning had impacted the pathways in Luke's brain, causing him to lose control of his legs. The outcome was a one-year road to recovery. After nearly 300 days, Luke was able to keep food down. He turned his focus on rehabilitating the movement of his legs. The recovery process was a challenge, but Luke's positivity and determination was strong. He has taken steps to return to the athletic lifestyle he loves, including volunteering as a goalie coach for a youth hockey team. Luke is a true inspiration to everyone around him. It, it's so crazy how, like, one day you're perfectly fine and it's so I guess the most thing that I found astounding is how fast your life can change because from being a very, really active guy and like the mindset of just being like have your legs taken from you for a long period of time was very difficult but at points I just wanted to give up but I knew I couldn't do that because now look at me, I can walk and everything and it's really good. And I'm getting back into sports and stuff at my school. So that's probably the craziest thing. What I like to do, I guess, is I always try to f find humor in things. And that kind of like picks me up. So when I was like just trying to like walk again with the walker, it, it hurt really bad. So I would play the song from the Karate Kid, uh, the best around when I would hear it. And it was pretty good and that kind of picked me up. Jasmine Findle is an 18-year-old student with Discovering Choices who epitomizes strength, resilience, and perseverance. Her story begins in grade three when her parents divorced. Since her mother was chronically depressed, addicted to prescription medication, and abusive, their relationship was strained. Later, when her mother attempted to reestablish a connection with Jasmine, tragedy struck as her mother passed away from an accident during her honeymoon. While the toll on Jasmine has been immense, she finds a way to overcome her challenges. I've learned to be more independent. I like that even though all these things have happened in my life that I'm still happy and I can just kind of forget about it. My boyfriend has probably inspired me the most because I'm just happy around him and he makes me feel good about myself and he doesn't really care about what's happened in my life and he's there for when I'm upset about that. It's best to just try and stay happy about things instead of always thinking about them and being upset because then you're just going to be upset for who knows how long. 